Hi everyone, it's Justine. Last week I talked about how to recognize good and bad quality when you're shopping for clothes. That raised a ton of questions about care instructions and about how to keep your clothes longer once you have them. So I'd like to tackle those questions today. I'm going to start with the basic care instructions and then I'll give you more homemade specific tips on how to clean and also store your clothes. First, when you look at the label, you see five different little icons. You have wash, bleach, dry, iron, and dry clean. Those five icons tell you what you can and cannot do. Let's take them one by one. First, washing. A cross little wash tub means that you cannot wash the garment at all. You might want to rethink whether you want to buy that garment after seeing this symbol on the label. The little hunt in the wash tub means that hand washing is recommended. Wools, silks and fine fabrics are usually better off with hand wash. Today, most washing machines have a hand wash option among the cycles that you can choose from. It means that it's a gentle cycle and that it's not going to spin too much so that you actually don't have to hand wash the garment yourself. A machine washable garment will tell you at which maximum temperature you may wash it. 30 degrees, 45, and then up to 60 or 95. Over 60, it's really just for bed sheets and white things that you really want to boil. You'll never use such a high temperature for color items. And honestly, the colder, the better for the fibers of the garments and for the environment. The last thing you need to know about washing is that little bar that you sometimes see underneath the symbol. That means delicate if you have one bar, very delicate if you have two bars. Watch out with these ones, they are very sensitive, that's why they especially highlighted it on the label. Wash very gently, try not to spin at all, be very careful how you handle it and lie it flat so that it will dry, keeping its shape. Then the bleach question. I don't bleach anything ever, mostly because it's very chemical and it's bad for the environment and I don't want that on my skin either. So I use other tricks to keep my white things really white. I will come to that also in a minute. But basically, if you wash the white garment in a washing machine, it comes out white. If you have the feeling that your white items come out a little bit grayish, then you want to open the machine, clean the old fibers and the dirt from previous washes that are stuck inside change the filter, it's a machine problem. It's not a problem of white losing its brightness or something. Also, since you want to wash bleachable and non-bleachable items together, make sure that your main detergent does not contain any bleach agent. Otherwise, it will fade out all your colors. Drying. A simple square means natural dry. With a little curve, it means line drying. And with a little bar, it means flat drying. A synonym for that is a square with a circle crossed. That means no tumble dry, dry it another way. If you may tumble dry a garment, it's either with low heat, one dot, or with normal heat, two dots. Remember that in general, fabrics and seams don't like to be tumble dried. It's not necessary and it's really harsh on the fibers. So it actually reduces the life expectancy of your cloth. Ironing. Do not iron is a symbol that you will often see on garments that have a print on them or sequins or non-woven fabrics like neoprene. Iron or do not iron is not a matter of quality and it has nothing to do with synthetic or natural fibers. Today, modern synthetic fibers can perfectly be ironed. That's absolutely no problem. If you may iron, one dot means low heat, no steaming while you're ironing, no pushing the bottom. <laughs> Two dots mean medium heat. Eventually, you can steam if you have a really, really bad fold, but not so much. And three dots means you can go ahead, high heat, and you may steam it. Those symbols match the symbols on your iron. So it's super easy to recognize. I hate to iron for me privately, so I don't. I just put the cloth on lines and hangers right after the wash. And then the folds and the creases and the problems just come off naturally. Though I know people who iron even socks and underwear. I won't name them here, but you know who you are. I wonder why. It's lost lifetime. <laughs> Dry cleaning. To be used with caution only if really, really necessary. It is toxic for you and for the fibers. They use chemicals to wash your clothes instead of water. So you can imagine that. A cross circle means 
don't dry clean. If you can dry clean, the circle will have a letter inside that tells you which chemical agents may be used to clean this fabric. I hope you are aware when you pick up garments from the dry cleaning, you should immediately remove the plastic bag from the garments so that the fiber in the fabric can breathe again. So that was to help you understand the care instructions so that you know what you're buying before you take the garments home. Now let's talk about pragmatic care instructions and grandmother's tricks. First, how to keep white garments white. I simply air dry them in the sun. You know, sun bleaches out colors, so it's not so good for colors, but for white, it's perfect. And if you have a stain on a white garment, use a mix of vinegar and water that you apply onto the stain, let it soak for a little while, and then wash the garment normally. Then natural fibers, they auto clean. Seriously, you don't need to wash wools or silks too often. Just hang them outside, give them some breeze, shake them for a little while if you've been going out to a pub that was full of smoke. <laughs> Wait for a few days, then put them onto a lavender pillow. Lavender is a natural cleanser and the smell will be completely gone. If you haven't been sweating really, really badly or getting a stain, you don't need to wash a wool sweater. Beware when you wash wool. Even if the label says 30 degrees Celsius are okay, I would always go with cold water. Don't spin, don't tumble dry, don't shake. Just air dry, laying flat. Why? Who has ever had a sweater made of wool that came out of the machine four size smaller and hard as rock? Me? That's because water plus heat plus movement makes felt out of wool. It's a mechanical process and you can't save it anymore once that has happened. So you're already adding water because you're washing your sweater make sure you don't also add heat and that you limit movements as much as you can. <laughs> what to do when you have an item that really, really stinks, <laughs> like a pair of used sport shoes, for instance. Place the shoes into a bag into the freezer. The bag must be completely sealed so that the shoes get cold, but not wet. After a few days, the coat will have killed all the bacteria and the smell will be gone. By the way, that also works fantastically for jeans. When you wash jeans or clothes that have hardware on them, together with lighter fabrics, make sure to turn the pieces that have hardware inside out so that they don't damage the lighter fabrics. And if you're washing hard fibers with light fibers together, you want to put the light fibers into a little fabric bag so that they don't get damaged and you can wash everything together. When you switch seasons in your wardrobe and you putting a part of your clothes away, make sure to wash them really thoroughly this time, yes, and then put everything into a fabric bag, not plastic, because plastic keeps and fosters humidity. Have you ever had a sweater that came out of storage yellowish or stained while well, you had bacteria left on it and keeping everything in a plastic atmosphere allowed the bacteria to grow and expand. <laughs> so prefer fabric, add a lavender pillow, auto clean, you'll be fine. Thumbs up if you learned a tip or two in this video. I probably forgot something, so feel free to ask in the comments below and also share your own grandmother's tips because grandmothers knew everything. Also, thank you so much for 75,000 subscribers. Um, every one of you who subscribes is one more reason for me to do more videos. So thank you so much. I see you Sunday and Wednesday again. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.